Hey, 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 we're cooking dinner tonight, and we're actually going to put together a meal and have you uh, join us. So, what are we going to make today? I don't know. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> what is that thing? It's apparently a winter squash, even though it's the dead of summer. <laughs> uh, it's, according to my basic internet research, a Japanese pumpkin oh. or a... Kaboka squash. Okay. It's supposed to be like a pumpkin, so we figured we'd uh, toss in the air fryer, stuff it, and see what happens. Hey, stick around. You get to watch <laughs> us make kaboka. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> up we're gonna prep the kaboka <laughs> cut in half what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the seeds we're gonna put them in a small bowl and then we're gonna pop these in the air fryer okay the air fryer is preheated it's ready so we put in Now that our squash are in the air fryer and kind of pre-cooking, we're going to start working on the stuffing that's going to go into the peppers. So we just chopped up half an onion and we're going to chop up a couple of uh, <laughs> unspecified New Mexico peppers that came in our farm box this week. So we're going to chop those up and get them cooking. Okay, so we have a little bit of oil heating, maybe like a teaspoon of oil heating on our stove. We're going to toss in the onions and peppers and let this cook for a little bit. We got this nice crickneck squash out of our fall box this week as well. We're gonna chop this up and throw it into the mix. And in goes the squash. Next up, we got a can of whole peeled tomatoes. We saw a thing on America's Test Kitchen a while ago that said that this is really a better flavor than buying pre-cut um, canned tomatoes. And uh, we kind of agree, it's kind of a pain to do this, but it tastes so much better. So uh, we're chopping up some tomatoes ourselves. Bonus, they're sometimes even <laughs> less expensive. Yeah, I think they are, right? Yep. Yeah, these cans are less expensive. And they really do taste a lot better. the squash, the peppers, the tomatoes, the onions cook for a little while. Now we need a little more liquid, so we're going to take some of the juice out of our can of tomatoes. Throw it in there. And give uh, some moisture for the textured vegetable protein that we're about to uh, throw in. We're going to throw some salt in as well. And some brown sugar up next because we have found that uh, tomato sauces taste really nice with brown sugar. Yeah. Oh, damn, that's a lot of brown sugar. I love it. The squash are cooked enough. I was able to slide a knife easily through them. So we're just going to pop this filling in. We're gonna plop a little bit of cream cheese on the top of each one because why the heck not, right? All right, so this took me years to figure out, but I'm gonna share it with all of you. We all know pumpkin seeds are delicious, winter squash seeds are delicious, but if you're like me, first of all, it's kind of a hassle to make them, but secondly, every recipe you find online or, you know, wherever else you get your recipes, calls for like so much oil and it just makes it not um, desirable, really. 
to uh, eat just that much fat in such a small space, right? So here is what I have come up with instead for making roasted pumpkin seeds, or in this case, Japanese pumpkin seeds. What I have found is that if you do not rinse these seeds, and that's something I always did, I rinsed the seeds and then I would try to make them and they weren't as good because they didn't have any flavor, didn't have any oil on them. Here's the deal, don't rinse them. Look at all that stuff on them, right? There's a bunch of goo on there and when you, they roast up, it kind of creates this like shell on them and they're just delicious. So what I'm gonna do is keep fishing these seeds out of this flesh and then uh, by the time I finish this, our dinner should be ready to come out of the air fryer and I'm just gonna throw these in there in their place and cook them up with some salt and they're going to be delicious. All right, so I got all the seeds separated. Gonna splat them in here. With, a little salt. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, right? Mmm. Right? Well, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Wish you could be here. This is really mm -hmm. good. The pumpkin is kind of, kind of sweet. I mean, it's mm -hmm. pumpkin, but it's squash, but it's pumpkin. It's really tasty. And the uh, the filling that we made. It's, it's very good. It's and good. I like the cream cheese on top. Ah, it's a nice little last minute nice addition. Little, uh, cherry on top in the form of cream cheese. My favorite. <laughs> My favorite. This is really good. And you know, we really love our air fryer. We'll put a mm -hmm. link uh, in the description. It's on... been a, like a life changer. Yeah, it really has. Because, you know, most of the air fryer recipes, even the recipe book that came with the air fryer, talks about adding oil to all the things you're air frying. But we very rarely, nope. if ever, put any oil. That thing is so compact and gets so hot. It really cooks things exceedingly well mm -hmm. without oil. And you have to, I mean, you know, right? No oil, man, it's it's healthy, it's mm -hmm. good. And I don't know if you can hear, but we're air the frying. The seeds are popping right yeah, now. Yeah, we're air frying fryer. pumpkin seeds <laughs> and they're popping in the background. So those will be ready in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing too, the air fryer is so quick. It's a really hot summer day. It's a hundred degrees outside. We, Last thing we want to do. We is would be pretty miserable in right now yeah. if we were cooking winter squash yeah, in the oven. oven. So yeah. the air fryer, man, you set it up, 10 minutes, five mm -hmm. minutes, stuff's really good. This Japanese pumpkin. Delicious. That was really good. And it came in our farm box, so this is really good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. If you haven't already, subscribe. If you like this video, like it. And I'll tell you what, if you hit the notification button, you'll find out about all the stuff that we're uploading before anybody else. You know, even cooking, it's always an adventure with you.